folks, this is Josh from Chicago Music Exchange in the Acoustic Room. And today we are going to have a look at this piece right here. Um, for those of you that are not familiar, this is the Fender Kingman Antigua. So in 1963, after getting a solid foothold in the solid body electric game, Fender tried their hand at acoustic guitars, um, responding to the folk explosion in the 50s and 60s and coinciding with their um, fortuitous hiring of Roger Rossmeisel, the master luthier, um, they took their first step into making acoustic guitars. And they started with the Fender King in 19, 1963. And in 1965, they changed the name to the King Man. And in 1968, we had the Fender Kingman Antigua. So love it or hate it, this is definitely a collectible and definitely worth looking at. Um, the Antigua is easily identified by this very stark and polarizing finish. Um, you have a burst on the top, back, and sides. So for those of you that are not familiar with the Fender Acoustic, specifically the Kingman, um, Roger Ross Meisel's approach to building acoustic guitars was very, uh, shall we say, unorthodox. So. First off, you're gonna see you have the Fender headstock with all six tuners on one side, on the bass side. Um, also, you have this little piece right here. The neck was easily removable. Um, it was done so, so that way it could be serviced easily. Um, you can just take it off, make any neck adjustment that you want, put it back on. This very, very stark departure here is this aluminum rod that extends from the butt all the way to the, um, to the heel block. Now, this was done to essentially add a little bit more support uh, to the guitar. There's all of this string tension that oftentimes, if you don't take care of your guitar, could cause the guitar to collapse forward. Um, and so Ross Meisel believed that putting this aluminum rod, aluminum being a little bit more resonant than just steel, in the center of the guitar, you would have a little bit more support. In 67, the Kingman was actually famously played by the King in his movie Clambake. Um, and he played the song Clambake on a Fender Kingman. Some other notable players would be Johnny Cash, Ray Davies, Robbie Robertson, and Wanda Jackson. With the decline of the folk movement and um, a push towards more traditional acoustic builds, the Fender Kingman definitely fell by the wayside. Uh, but that being said, we should give it a play and hear how it sounds. <laughs> 